sorry about that. Um, you guys know that I've explained that I'm klepto about my name and that awesome picture being up there in the corner. Sorry for keeping you guys waiting a bit. Alright, this is another set of panels that I will be talking about. And this is uh, later in the comic books. And what there's one thing I want to point out here. She's moved on. She's moved on to Scorch, who has just gotten out of the hospital. Hey, Scorch, why don't you get over here? Yes, yeah, Scorch, what are you afraid of? Do I look stupid to you guys? I'm not coming over there and getting strangled. What do you mean, strangled? Oh, hello, Scorch. Oh, God. It's Fiona. What are you doing here? More like, what are you doing here? I'm here trying to p defend myself. Defend yourself from what? This human. What, is he bothering you? No, I just thought I'd give my two cents on what's happening. It's not like I have much control over what I say or do. I mean... Besides, inside the comic books, I try to get away from Scourge as much as possible. And this is actually one of my moments where I didn't want to do it, but I had to. Stupid writers. I thought it was awesome. At least I get to be with you inside the comic book. Hey, Scourge, buzz off. Why would I buzz off? Because I have this nice little device called a cell phone. And when I call a certain number, a certain pink hedgehog's gonna come over here with her spiked hammer, and she's going to... Never mind, I'm leaving. That was a smart choice, Shadow. Oh, hey, little Tails. Leave me alone. I'm not from the comic books, okay? I'm kind of confused on what's going on myself. Okay, time to get to the explaining. Whoever uploaded this, I give you credit, but I have to give Archie Comic the credit. Archie Comics, well, even though I don't like what's going on, I have to admit this is a, a very good and very well done, pr probably very well done episode, per se. Now here we have Tails can like okay if you look at the first panel you'll see that his tails are looking like the you know when Tails spins his tails around like helicopter blades he can fly it looks like he's just came from the air I don't know what's going on beforehand but Sonic apparently maybe he was about to get into a fight with Scourge we'll know more later but Right now, what we got going on here is basically Tails pleading with Fiona that, well, he's... I have to admit that this Tails does not have, like, those, uh... He seems to be more of a coward. I mean... Okay, uh, video game slash Sonic X Tails, what have you done in this situation? Well, if I really loved this girl, I would have fought for her. Maybe I would have lost, maybe I would have won. But I wouldn't sit there and cry. I'd probably take the X-Tornado and blow his head off. Oh, that's so romantic. Poor little Tails doesn't know what he's got coming to him. Oh, Fiona, will you just shut the hell up and focus? I am focusing. How much longer do I have to put up with this crap? Okay. Fiona, no, please. It, it's okay if you don't want to like me. I, I mean, uh, like me, like me. But please don't go with Scourge. Oh, by the way, when I typed in the Scourge's name, I misspelled it accidentally. And thank goodness it caught it. 
I was thinking it might take me to some sort of weird and appropriate site because of like there's a panel I might show in one of my upcoming videos where I'll rant about Scourge and how he's a excellent character but he is far too extreme away from Sonic. He's a womanizer. Oh, I knew that about him. I don't know why I went with him. At first it was fun. I know you're good. All you have to do is try a little harder and... Oh, Tails, you're so smart. But you haven't learned one fundamental lesson in life. You can't count on anybody. And as you can see, Tails gets smacked and Sonic runs in. There's actually a panel, like a strip of panels that comes up after this where... Or maybe it's later on, but Sonic actually does... Not only race to get Tails, but he goes in attempts to fight Fiona. Because, well, she hurt his little buddy. I can... Yeah, that was one of my not-as-proud moments. And one thing that bothers me about this p panel strip, uh, Fiona, is the fact that you're so close to Tails. I mean, if you truly don't want to be with him at all, why? Why would you get this close? Hey, I have an idea. Maybe she's a fox version of Rouge. I am nothing like that skanky whore. If you're nothing like her, then why do you keep jumping from guy to guy? Um, I have absolutely no idea. Maybe uh, they run out of excitement for me. Well, as far as I can tell, this this Tails is kind of a whiny baby. I mean, I've already said I would have blown Scourge's head off with the X-Tornado. I mean, it's not like I'd stand and take this. I'm smart enough to duck. Maybe he's, uh, kind of afraid? I mean... There's, um... There's actually a fan art that I saw that where we're swapped places. Where Sonic is placed in, like, basically it's a reverse scene. So, uh, I would be slapping you and you'd be flying. Pretty much. Except the panels above wouldn't happen. Because it's pretty clear that me and Scourge are together, and I don't think you and Sonic are gay. Whoa, that's going way too far. Heh, <laughs> you said it. Calling Rosie. Oh, never mind, going away. Hey Rosie, you can come out from under the desk. Oh boy. Hey Scourge. We're not going to call Rosie. Oh, thank God. I don't want to have to deal with... Oh, God, what is that? Morbid. Ha, ha, ha. You're all mine, Scorchy. <laughs> She's dragging him off into the bathroom. Oh, God. Please help us. Like, help us all. Rosie's psychotic. This is a multiple parter. If only there was some genius way where I could keep this recording mark up. I think I might actually go into YouTube and make a watermark there. But this is my watermark for right now. I might actually go back and put it in all my videos. I mean, I'm not that smart at this. I mean, I'm just starting out.
But I feel a need to express certain things in the comic books that I found kind of interesting. As Fiona explains here, this is not the... Oh, by the way, there's one thing I wanted to mention about that last strip. I saw it by itself. I had no idea who she was. I had no idea who the green guy, Scourge, was. I knew who Sonic was. I knew who Tails was. But for the longest time, I fought who I called the Red Vixen for a long time. I thought she had a hat on. But that's actually the, you know, the line. When, for instance, back, like, up here, you see these lines and the, almost like a waterfall, that's just tails coming down. Again, the line here and the lines here show rapid movement. Yeah, I don't think, Fiona, were you proud to do this scene at all? Well, it kept the continuity going on, but... I did not enjoy this whatsoever. Tails knows how to love a woman. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Hi, my name is Silver. Oh, God, no. Oh, you didn't tell me Shadow was here. <laughs> Who's this whiny baby? His name is Silver, the Hedgehog. <laughs> Shadow, please put that gun away. Oh no, Silver, I'm gonna kill you. Oh God. <laughs> he doesn't die, but the pain should be enough. Oh, that's another hook up I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Silver and Blaze. And I will also cover the uh, gay couples that... It, I have nothing against the gay community, but there's one fundamental fact that I want to point out. Like, for instance, Sonic x Shadow. I will express all the problems I have with that. But there's one thing I hate about the gay couples that people come up with. I know it has nothing to do with the picture that is up, but guess what, guys? It's wrong. This is a kid's show and comic book. All this drama, I can accept. Because kids would understand. Probably. Maybe. Oh, there's a problem I have with a character. It's, uh, it is Rouge the Bat. Uh, I don't know why they decided to dress her the way they did. I have no clue. Why would you dress... Look, I would have been happier... Like, okay, keep her, uh... Yeah, air quotes. Cannons. I'm trying to be extremely careful with my language. Okay, screw it. You can make her boobs however big you want them, Sega. But guess what? Don't... Show cleavage! Oh god, every time I look at her, I think of a skanky whore. I'm sorry, just like I think Fiona is a stereotypical, deceitful, lying vixen. The lines I'm given are the ones I can say. I'm very sorry. If Comic Book Tales ever comes up, please give me a call. I will come down and apologize. I promise. Well, damn. Hey, dude, why do you have a hammer out? Oh, God. Something, so, something I've just noticed about this. What pisses me off is that, you know, like, I can understand, like, in the first four, no, first two, so I'm going from the very top one, to the one in the middle, to the very left. Fiona, you seem extremely concerned, but then Scourge goes to kind of shocked, to pissed off. 
So, my problem with this scene that I've just noticed is why isn't Scourge the one to slap, you know, Tails? I think I can answer this one quite clearly. Because if Scourge did it, Sonic would have kicked his ass. That's very true. Sonic couldn't hit a woman, could he? Um. Play Sonic Heroes, everyone, if you're gonna find out why I'm kinda, like, unsure what to say at the moment. We went past the 15 minute mark, everyone. But please give me a theoretical pat in the back because I figured out I got that magical call from the automated voice YouTube people and I'm allowed to post videos that are more than 15 minutes because I feel like why in the world should I worry about how long a video is? I want to post things on YouTube that can be longer. And now that I think about it, I will make a, a watermark on all the videos using YouTube's program rather than my recording program. Because, well, it, the, the recording program it has a very solid watermark there. Don't think I'm retconning it out. I might make it smaller. But I, I would like to keep my name there. Uh, yeah, I just like my name. <laughs> yeah, I used to be called the Taz. Actually, I used to be called the Tasmanian Devil when I played, uh, when I played, uh, football. F very, very little league football while I was in elementary school. I know that's very off topic, but I would tell you my other nickname I was called, but that might be a bit much. I was called the Tasmanian Devil because I'd always find a way to get to the quarterback. I was nose tackle. It was fun. If I look back now, if I had like one Sonic character to put on the quarterback's face that would make me want to pile drive him so badly, it would have to be Scourge or Silver. Or Antoine. Oh, Antoine's annoying as hell. Why did they... Oh boy. I don't even want to say it. Yeah, they made, they got the the tough brawn bunny to marry him. I don't understand what the hell they were thinking there. Quite right, Shadow. Quite right. Well, this does it for this part. Well, next part, I'm still going to continue on the subject of uh, Scourge and Fiona, and Fiona's kind of jumping around. And also, we're going to be looking at uh, a picture that I uh, absolutely adore. It's cute. It has charm. It's hilarious. Well, I'll be seeing you guys next time. This is the Taz96. See ya.